Good morning world. Okay, three things to change your life. They've certainly changed mine. I'm going to tell you them all at once and then go into each one. <clears throat> Meditation, reading a book, and exercise every day. So reading a book, I got that down as a kid. I loved reading books. I was walking to the library by myself as a very young kid. I think the first time I did it I was four, no kidding. <laughs> That's how safe it was in Canandaigua, New York. Um, <clears throat> but reading a book, like last night, a lot of times I get caught into going through Facebook feed and <clears throat> scrolling through that. It's just fascinating. Instead, I was like, nope, I'm reading this uh, book on copywriting by Jim Edwards. It was, It's a good book. I'm halfway through. It gives you a different perspective. Um, because you're really going deeper than just scrolling through a feed. Listen, I'm addicted to YouTube as well. Um, I'm on there every day and posting content of my own, looking at other people's work. And it's fun, but it kind of sucks you in at this level of you're not expressing your own self if you're um, kind of caught up in all these other personalities. <clears throat> Which is fine, but it can easily go into hours. Okay, but reading a book concentrates your focus on one person's expression and you go deep with it. And it does change your life. Books have changed my life. Um, I remember the first time I read Simone de Beauvoir, The Second Sex, wow, in college. It was all stuff I'd already been feeling, but nobody had said it in print form um, that I had found. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of people that were leaders in uh, rebelling against the norm decades ago. And it's neat to read about them, especially people that have already died, because they helped shape where we are now. Okay, meditation. It's pretty easy if you commit to five minutes a day and then whatever you can manage. 10 minutes. Lately I've been doing 15 and it's getting easier. I mean I've done 14 hour a day meditations of walking and sitting which are really beneficial and I'd like to do another one soon. As soon as this uh, social distancing is over or at least abated at least less severe. Um, because it stills your mind and you hear your own divine guidance. So you're listening. <clears throat> it's different than praying. I also pray every day. Um, the choice is yours. But meditation is a quieting. So you get a lot out of it in the way that you can hear your own um, inner wisdom. And then exercise. So. I turned my, I, I was exercising late in the day and that doesn't really work as well for me. So um, I switched it up and now I'm doing my meditation and getting out and doing some exercise right away before work, before writing. And it's, so I go to this beautiful Lithia Park every day. Absolutely, you know, it affects you so deeply when you're listening to birds sing and seeing green all around you that affects you in this soothing, healing way. And you get exercise, so your blood is pumping. I mean, you don't have to be sweating up a storm. Uh, I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day. I've been falling short <laughs> a little bit of that. Um, but I'm getting there. I'm doing better than I was doing last month. So have a goal, whether it's yoga, walking, dancing. It just, it moves you out of your funk, if you're in a funk. It gets you out of anxiety. So those three things, meditation, reading a book, and exercise every day, it'll change your life. So I'll see you in the next video. Tell me how you, um, <clears throat> what things work for you to change your life.